Good morning, my peeps. Good morning, and I love you. Happy Tuesday. No headache this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Get, and get this day started. Packed full of stuff. Packed. I've got to take Allie to school. I've got to take the van to Midas to change a headlight. i got to stop at the bank and deposit a check. Because ah, the check is just a little bit too big to do via mobile deposit. So there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, around 11.30, Glenn's coming home for an extended lunch. We have to run and take care of an appointment. And that's between work and more laundry and cleaning the house <laughs> and getting a grocery list compiled. My grocery list is as long as my arm, guys, and it gets bigger by the day. I am just, I think yesterday was tension. I think, uh, I think that um, Bird's Nest nailed it. It's tension. It's just, I'm overwhelmed, so... Deep breaths, casting my cares upon the Lord because he cares for me. And with that, let's get this day started. Let's see what it holds. Remember, I love you, and I'll talk to you in just a little bit. Oh my goodness, my whole morning, guys, is gone. And I uh, texted my boss, and he so wonderfully decided to go ahead and <laughs> let me um, come in late today. So I'll be logging in about 2.30, because Glenn and I have that appointment, and I mean, I just don't know what to do. So grabbed a quick shower. I'm going to eat some farina, throw a face on, and... That should be right about the time I gotta head out the door downtown for that appointment with Glenn. And then once I get back, I'll have to turn around and go get Allie. And then once I get back from at that, I can actually work. <laughs> oh, better late than never, but shout out to my boss, man. He saved my life because that headache was just starting to come right back. But I'm definitely fighting a head cold though, guys. I can feel it. So. I eat this and take some sinus medication. Check in a little bit. Waiting on Glenn, waiting on Glenn. As soon as he gets here, we gotta take off so we can get to that appointment. And um, then I'll probably just drop him back off here and get over to pick up Allie and then I get to start my work day. <laughs> that sinus medication is saving my life, guys, because I could feel the pressure, I could feel it. But no, 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 I got too much to do. And can you imagine if I'm sick when my family gets here? Oh, perish the thought, perish the thought. All right, y'all, let's get this afternoon done. <laughs> and I still haven't taken anything out for dinner. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Too much on my mind. All right, I'll check in in just a minute. Appointment over, time for some lunch. Good old cookout. Cheer wine float. Yum, yum, yum. Already here at Alley School. I dropped off Glenn at the house and he had to go back to work too. So, gonna grab Alley, get home, and get started with work. <laughs> oh, who knows? Who knows what awaits me? But I'm just gonna enjoy my cookout cheer wine float and not worry about it just yet. I still got an hour before I need to log in. So, there you have it. Um, and we're probably going to go out to dinner tonight. Um, and that's about it, guys. I don't know what else is in store. I was going to stop at the store to get something to make for dinner. But when I dropped Glenn off at the house, he's like, don't worry about cooking, babe. You know, maybe we'll just go out and, and uh, you know, sit down with the girls and have a nice meal and everything. And I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Although, ask me again at 6 o'clock. When I am exhausted after working and it's dark outside and cold and it always gets me. I'm always like, I don't really want to go anywhere. 
But that Pizza Hut pizza was so unsatisfying. Oh, everything was gross. The garlic knot crust thing was gross. The cheese it things, whatever those horror horror show, that was gross. So definitely, guys, definitely going to have to make improvements over last night's fair. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> Let's get back to the house and see what the rest of the day holds. Remember, I love you. We decided to stay in, but we had the restaurant come to us, so it took a little while. They almost forgot one of our orders, so the driver caught it, and he uh, he waited for them to, to make it, so it took a little longer than we thought. Hey, but at least we're eating at a somewhat decent hour. I'll see you guys in the morning. Remember, I love you. Good night.